The NFL trade deadline was yesterday, so I just traded all of the players to their new teams, and I'm going to score a touchdown with them. And we're starting with Calvin Ridley, the biggest surprise trade of yesterday, going from the Falcons to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Absolutely nobody saw this one coming yesterday, but Calvin Ridley is officially the new number one receiver for Trevor Lawrence. Now, he won't be able to play this year because he is still suspended, but I mean, next year, hey, that's going to be a nice weapon for Trevor Lawrence, and he's hitting big passes with him already into the red zone let's see if we can dial up the touchdown form we're gonna throw it up we're gonna throw it up one-on-one -on -one. calvin ridley but we can't get the feet down in bounds this is exactly what trevor lawrence needs right here a number one receiver we're going up oh he gets laid out come on calvin we need you on a big third down here we need you on a big third down here can we get it at the back pylon he's got it calvin ridley the new number one wide receiver for the jacksonville jaguars up next, we've got Chase Claypool, who went from the Steelers to the Bears and was one of the more unsuspected trades of the day. Chase Claypool coming over gives Justin Fields a much-needed weapon outside of Darnell Mooney. They're trying to finally put some weapons around the young QB. If you want your young QB to continue to improve, you gotta put some viable options around him, and I think adding Chase Claypool helps do that. He also gives you a nice big body that you can attack downfield for those one-on-one 50-50 balls. That's something he didn't really have before, and Chase Claypool's pushing him off for a big first down. Let's see if we can get one of those one-on-one -on -one throws Back of the end zone, Chase Claypool going up. Oh my goodness, he got knocked out though. That was a vicious hit. I, I don't blame him for dropping that one. Let's see if we can get this one. Chase Claypool, he beats the man and he's in the end zone for a touchdown. That's your new wide receiver for the Chicago Bears. Up next, we've got Christian McCaffrey, who was just traded a week ago to the San Francisco 49ers. This was probably the biggest deal overall of the NFL season. Christian McCaffrey on the Niners is just absolutely insane. They have so many weapons, and they're going to be a really dangerous offense. And since we're scoring touchdowns, how about you go ahead and touch down on that subscribe button. If you want to see content like this all year long, I do videos like this pretty often. It really helps the channel out a ton, and you can always unsubscribe at any time if you get tired of the videos, which hopefully you don't. Now, we're going to try to hit him here on the angle right out of the backfield of course you got to use him as a receiver too because he's so good at it gonna try to hit him with the little off tackle run here we've got good blocking from use check breaking tackles this guy's an absolute machine out here on the field let's just try it on this side too why not look at the great blocking from the Niners Christian McCaffrey diving into the end zone untouched that's your new running back San Francisco up next we've got TJ Hawkinson one of the best young tight ends in the league who got traded from the Lions over to the Vikings and what was one of the biggest surprise deals of the day I don't think anybody saw this trade coming certainly not Lions fans but just like that one of the best tight ends in the league is now on a new team and I think from the Vikings standpoint they just see a chance to go all in so they're taking it this year come on TJ fight for me the NFC is just not that good this year and the Vikings are one of the few good teams so why not go all in when you see a chance to maybe go all the way this year the only thing that's odd about it is that it was a trade within a division you don't see that too often but I guess the Lions just like the compensation and I think the Lions thought they were going to be a a little bit better this year than they have been but I think now they've realized they're still a ways away so they need more picks and they need to rebuild and here we go with TJ Hawkinson in the back of the end zone on the corner route what a huge touchdown for the new tight end of the Minnesota Vikings up next we've got the young dangerous receiver Kadarius Tony, who was traded from the Giants over to the Chiefs about a week ago you can never have too many weapons for Patrick Mahomes and Kadarius Tony is going to give him another one of those and this guy is really shifty and he can make some people miss I know he wasn't healthy much with the Giants but man if he could stay healthy on the Chiefs this is gonna be yet another dangerous weapon and he can do things just like that he's got the speed he's out for a touchdown Canarius Tony with Patrick Mahomes could be another dynamic duo in the making next up we've got Naeem Himes who went from the Colts over to the Bills as if the Bills needed any more weapons now they have another good dual threat running back with Hines now we knew the Bills were interested in adding another running back they were linked to McCaffrey and Alvin Kamara but they wound up having to settle for Naeem Hines, which really isn't bad. I mean, he's pretty solid. You can use him to run the ball. He's going to be really good in the passing situations, in the screen game. He's just going to add another dynamic to this offense. And you know the Bills like to rotate their running backs, so now they just have another one that they can throw in there. I think this is a great pickup. And with the Bills already being a favorite to win it all, adding Naeem Hines certainly doesn't make their case any worse. Let's see if we can get him on this little option route here. He's going to spot up. He's going to spot up. I love that route right there. If it's zone, they curl. If it's man, they cut. 
It's a very underrated route in the game that not enough people use. Let's hit the screen. Let's hit the screen. Get the blocks. That was a touchdown if we just get good blocking. But that's Madden for you. You know, you're not going to always get good blocking. Fight for me, Naeem Himes. He's in there. Look at him. He's got some strength, too. He can catch. He can run. This is going to be a nice addition to the Bills offense. Up next, we've got James Robinson, who was traded from the Jags to the Jets last week after Brees Hall got injured. Losing Brees Hall was a huge blow to the Jets offense, but when you can replace him with James Robinson, that's not too bad at all he's one of the more underrated running backs in the league oh my goodness there's just no blocking now it's just unfortunate because Brees Hall was looking like he might have got rookie of the year the way he was playing let's try to hit him with a little screen pass here oh that's beautiful that's beautiful that was a perfect call oh the blocking is just not good though I mean we, we, we probably could have went to the house if the blocking went upfield all the blockers just literally huddled in one area but you know what we're still picking up yards gonna go back to the stretch run here come on good blocking good blocking there we go stiff arm stiff arm fight for me James James is eating on this drive. I can't lie. Look at this. Look at the blocking. That's what we want. That's what we want. That's the kind of blocking. Hey, man, we, we didn't need the late hit there. I broke the plane. I broke the plane. We didn't need to do all that. But that's a touchdown for the Jets' new running back, James Robinson. Up next, we've got Robbie Anderson, who was recently traded from the Panthers over to the Cardinals. Now, Robbie was just having a tough time in Carolina. He was not getting along with the coaches, so they got him up out of there, and they moved him to the Cardinals, where they had just lost Hollywood Brown. We definitely do not need to be fun on the first play but luckily we got it back but yeah this i mean is a nice weapon for kyler murray after losing another speedster and for madden purposes this makes the cardinals a lot better because you can still use hollywood brown so you've got two speedsters and deandre hopkins to go with kyler murray so there's a lot of firepower on this team even if in real life they're underachieving a little bit right now Let's try single back here. Let's see if we can get the slant. Oh, that's a dime from Kyler to Robbie Anderson, the new speedster for the Arizona Cardinals. Up next, we've got the Dolphins' new running back, Jeff Wilson Jr. Now, this trade actually makes a lot of sense because Mike McDaniel used to be one of the coaches for the Niners. He's now the head coach of the Dolphins. And the Dolphins' current running back situation isn't the greatest, so they need some more guys to rotate in there. And with the Niners getting Christian McCaffrey, I mean, they just didn't need Jeff Wilson anymore. Okay, here we go. That's some good blocking from the Dolphins on the screen play. Jeff Wilson's making plays. So now with the Dolphins, you've got two former 49er running backs with him and Raheem Mostert and the former coach of the Niners. So they're going to probably eat in that offense. He's going to know exactly how to use them. And it's just going to make the Dolphins offense even more powerful than it already is. Up next, we've got Chase Edmonds, who went from the Miami Dolphins to the Denver Broncos. Now, Chase Edmonds went over to the Broncos as part of that big deal for the superstar or soon to hopefully be superstar Bradley Chubb. And I don't really feel like the Broncos actually needed a new running back. I mean, they have more running backs than I can count. I know Javante Williams got hurt. Oh my goodness, look at Chase Edmonds going crazy. I know Javante Williams got hurt, but they got a ton of other guys they've been using. But hey, I guess they're just adding another one to the stable. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check this one out right here on the screen where I scored a touchdown with every cover athlete in every single Madden game.